Hello everyone, time for a daily run. It's Azazel. I missed the only Azazel daily that I can even remember. Let's do this. It is Hagavaz. Ah, what a waste of time. I won't even spend the HP on getting out. Let's carry on. Azazel is normally considered to be easy mode. We're going to Mom's Heart. It's almost inevitable that we will be doing boss rush. Let's see if we can find a way to go further. Let's basically see if we can find out how to break this game. I don't really have any ooh, hello. sort of calibration for how far to expect to go. Uh, I've seen that Jetcree has actually done really well today. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't mean to sound quite so surprised as that, but uh, Jetcree is reasonably new to the game. So... Actually doing such a successful run, well A, shows the power of Azazel, and B, shows that they are definitely improving in their Isaac skills, which is good. 20,000 was Jet Crew's score. Uh, I guess we go in this one. It's a good thing I have bombs. Yeah, we, uh, we survive our way out, and we get 9 lives, okay. <laughs> so, pro tip, always go into Coast Wars, especially if you can afford it. I suppose the flip side of that is, if you can't afford it, don't go to the curse room. You'll probably die. Um, but we could afford that. I did get hit by a red fire, which doesn't... Uh, let's not talk about it. One of the uh, the hardest things about playing an Azazel run, Azazel, Azazel, Azazel is uh, A, not being hit stupidly by stupid damage sources, but mostly it's things that explode. You have to really hit them at the edge of your range, or you're going you're gonna to have a better time. Dank memes 101. Let's use this to go to the item room because we haven't got enough money to make the shop worth it. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Man, is this like a, a palate cleanser sort of run? Like, I, the past few runs have been pretty shitty. I, think I recorded yesterday's run, but it was so bad. Uh, I played badly and I you know, uh, commentated badly. I felt so badly about it. I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to upload it. I just deleted it. Um, I wasn't in the headspace and that's okay. But today's run, it feels like because we've had some reasonably crappy, what I presume are randomised runs. But yeah, Cat and Nightales is great. To have an Azazel run at this stage is, it feels like it's Edmund and Co saying, look, you need a break. And yeah, we do. We really do need this break. Uh, we are at two minutes and we want to be out of here by five, so we should get the full exploration bonus. Uh, and this is probably a secret room. Please don't shoot my... Seraphim. What does Seraphim do? Uh, I'm pretty sure it shoots. <laughs> I don't know what else it does. I honestly don't know. Um, but I picked it up because it's pretty good. Ah, hmm. Okay. So we're thinking, well I am, don't know about you, that self-sacrifice rooms are an option on this run. We need to get past the mom's heart fight. We can get as far as the, the very next floor with an Awaz rune or a shovel, but that's it. We can't get as far as the final floor, which is going to be probably the dark and therefore the land fight, without doing a self sacrifice rune. One. Almost is large. Almost is more. Tears up. Tears up is great. All these tears ups and things basically they mean I charge my laser or fast door. Two, two lasers and uh, duplex is an odd thing to have as a zazel. We'll see how it works, I suppose. There's another self sacrifice room. Uh, it's tempting me, but we should really not do it until after boss rush. So, ideally, I think maybe now let's think about what I'm about to say before I say it and let's not walk full tilt into enemies before they're dead. Now, if there is a self sacrifice room on the Necropolis 2. Is it worth trying to teleport out of boss rush and using it? Or should we consider carrying on? Do we want to beat Mom's Heart and hope that there's a self-sacrifice room on the Mom's Heart type? Hmm. Good question. Glad you asked. I don't know the answer. Again, we're so fast because Azazel or Azazel or whatever you want to call it that we should explore more. This is an interesting run, simply because of the fact that 
There's almost certainly going to be a way to get further than we get to go. But which one? And when? When do they pull the trigger on that, that self-sacrifice room opportunity? When do we commit? When do we say, yes, this is what I want to do? This is worth doing because it's a good amount of points. If we're trying to get a hit on it, that would be even better. Look, there's no point trying to use the entire single... We've had two tiers upgrades. Two of the better tiers upgrades in the entire game. Three. No, two. We've had Squeezy, which is a great tiers upgrade, plus two spirit hearts. We've got Cat of Nine Tails, which is a great tiers upgrade, plus no spirit hearts. We have nine lives. There's no point trying to use a single brimstone shot to kill as much as possible because we'll charge up the next one in no time at all. Peculiar duplex doesn't appear. Oh, you explode, do you? Okay. Doesn't appear to have had any effect. But it may be just a straight damage upgrade, or it may do nothing at all. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go looking for a secret room, which is probably next to the cursed room. So we possibly took a half a heart more damage than we needed to. Feeling that's the cursed room. Uh, but at this stage, I'm just going to say, who really cares? It's not me. So this is what I'm going to assume is a secret room. That was weird. The uh, cat head there made me think that stuff was happening that wasn't happening. Try and strafe that. If this gives us some uh, coins, we may be able to get something from the shop, which we can. What do we want from the shop? Something good, please. Uh, probably not the Bible, but I will take Mom's key, which... Is a two keys, which means we've just got two keys for fifteen cents, which is it's it's more than the market rate. One key is worth five cents, but it also gives us mom's key. Uh, mom's key gives us stuff from chests. Uh, okay, that's not our second secret room, so I will leave. How fast are we going? Extremely, very, super fast. We should now be leaving the second floor, and we're just starting the fourth. We don't know where we're going, so I guess we just hug the wall and. You know, standard, uh, standard maze finding algorithm. Uh, two of clubs. Okie dokie. Do I take this pill? Yes. Please. Tears up. Apparently, I've been taking pills and not even noticing. I knew we'd had another tears upgrade actually. Sort of in my uh, in my bones, I was aware that we'd had another tears upgrade. It was that pill. So now we're charging extremely fast and getting sucked in by mega fatty, which is not as much fun as it sounds like it would be. Ah, you wanker. Our shots charge up fast enough that we don't really need to worry about making the full effect of each one. Oh, this is bollocks, so hate this shit. Let me out. Just die faster so we can get out of here. I've no idea how to deal with this. This is That was completely new to me, so obviously I took a lot of extra damage there because Azazel's range is the biggest problem with Azazel. Uh, or the smallest problem with Azazel. Because you have to be right up next to the enemies to hit them. I don't know how to attack the new champion um, Mega Maw there with Azazel. It's just too difficult. Uh, that gives us coins. Like, sure. <laughs> what does that do? It just lets us get into the special rooms for money instead of keys. Mom's key causes. Did I? Did I just get distracted by telling everybody what Mom's Key does? Mom's Key causes chests to have a much greater payout. All chests, I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> Again, that's not the time to pull the trigger on the self-sacrifice room. We definitely need to do boss rush, or sure, there's just really no point. This could be anything. It is... A ship. <laughs> Able, of course. This could be helpful. How long is our... Ah, I'm not sure if it actually helps. Whipworm causes your shot speed to be greatly increased, which normally manifests as a range upgrade. Unfortunately, as a Zazel, it does not seem to do so because our shot speed doesn't have any effects. Let's get some cash, I guess. We've uh, not got a spacebar item, so we might as well use this. It's a great effect. There's some more money. I don't think we wanted the other item in the shop. don't remember what it is. Why am I blowing these up? Good question. I don't want to play them. We have a poor chance at paying out. I believe. I think that's right. Poor enough that I don't want to do it, basically. So I'm exploding them instead. They tend to have a decent op uh, oh, opportunity yeah, to pay out um, if you explode them. Just not necessarily with the sorts of things they would normally pay out with. 
um, usually with some consumables. Wow. I didn't even know he was there, and then I got confused how to dodge. Uh, I've, I've taken a lot of damage on this very floor, simply because of that boss trap ring, which is not ideal. It's not my favourite. But at the same time, we're not dead, and we're not in any danger of dying, because we're Azazel. So, who cares, right? Let's just keep going. We've got these two of clubs to double our bombs whenever we really care to. I've not been doing it, I mean... It's sort of an intermediate strategy is to wait until you're about to use a bomb before you use the two of clubs. But I'm going to go for the next level strategy, which is to wait until I want to use it before I use the two of clubs. Because I suspect there's going to be a point after which the value of those bombs sort of tapers off. So rather than double it, use it here to get the ten bombs, I will use the two of diamonds, because I can only have one of them. Um, I'm going to just hold on until we've got a load of bombs from later in the game and just eke a few more points out of it, I suppose. It's, uh, it's not an important play, so if we want to take something better, we will. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't just stand there and shoot me? Bastard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hold on to the two of clubs until something better comes along, basically. It may, may be the less apropos of options, but we could... We could take this, why not? But this, um, provided I stop firing and let it actually blow up, this will give us a few extra points for beating an angel statue. Which we have an opportunity to do, provided we can actually hit it. We're not doing a huge amount of damage there, actually, which is very surprising, but we made it through without getting hit. Making it through without getting hit is the name of the game. So, welcome to me, myself, and I playing Making It Through Without Getting Hit. Uh, we're on the Necropolis 1, which is the 5th floor. I'm not going to try and count that because obviously previous attempts to count the number of floors we're doing has ended in disaster. Uh, if you recall, I decided that we had 8 floors between us and Mom. In fact, we've got 6. So we're on 5, if I can be so bold as to try and count that. This could be a good opportunity to try using the two of clubs, but we'll keep going. There's a greed fight. Greed fight is another difficult one, simply because you have to get close and you can't trust greed. I'll use it now. Yeah. When we have, I should have used it before I placed that bomb. I know. Whatever. Before greed, greed gave us a steam sail. The steam sail will assist us uh, in future shots, of which there are not many, by halving all the prices, as we have seen previously. And then we picked up Stephen from this. Mob trap room. It's only a mob trap room, not a boss trap room. Fucking stand still. Uh, a mob trap room means it's going to be slightly easier than the boss trap room was. And these aren't even champions, so we're doing well. Picked up Steven. Steven's just a straight up damage upgrade, which is not hugely necessary as the Sazel, but I'm not going to sniff at it. Uh, whatever that means. Is that a practice that people still engage in sniffing at things? I suppose it is, actually. Yeah. Turn your nose up, I suppose, is the uh, silent equivalent of sniffing at something, is turning one's nose up at said thing. If we run in all guns blazing, then... Oh. Uh, there's a strong chance that we will do well. Just buy everything. I don't care. You can't, uh, can't control me. Apparently, Are You a Wizard has no effect on this agent. I've replaced the... the... IV bag, which gives us money for taking damage, with Pandora's box, because we should be going to the womb, and on on the womb, Pandora's box gives us two boss items, I believe. Two items, anyway. But I believe they come from the boss. Room. I'm just going to give this chap a few a few co uh, keys to see what we, what we can get, but I would like to be able to open some golden chests, so I will now explode him. Or it. I suppose... There is no necessary gender to ascribe to uh, uh, an inanimate beggar of keys. It's just a repository for my keys, which kind of dehumanizes it, but I have no reason to believe it is human in the first place. Small reason, but not a compelling one. If I could kill these things, wow, that did actually hit me, so fuck me, I guess. Put this here so we can get some decent stuff out of five 
skulls. It's a magician card, which doesn't really help unless we can get infinite range. And here's a shit item that we will re-roll. Please. And here's a shit item that we will re-roll. It's not actually it. Card generator. I kind of want to keep Pandora's box. I don't know what that does for us. I'm not going to take it. Uh, well, I guess we're taking this. Not sure what this does. I have some idea, but I've forgotten. But it's something to do with creating spiders. So there you go. Golden key is pretty okay. Mask of Infamy is actually quite difficult because we have to get so close to it. So that's going to be a problem. But as long as we can kite it, kind of fast, but I would not not turn down a speed upgrade. Uh, I don't think we need it. I'm going to say no. I would like to fight another angel statue and we will take this. 14 minutes. We did slow down a little. Not too much. It gives us six minutes to get through this floor, which means we can at least get the benefit of a, a good amount of exploration. But we have, we're not lost. We haven't got Curse of the Lost, so we can see our map. Being able to see the map on the mom fight, or the mom floor, which is this floor, is possibly slight more, slightly more valuable, slightly, more, slightly more valuable than on any other floor, because it's super useful to be able to see where you're going. Let's see if this, this thing can give us some... Some, uh, some pain. That's a card. That's a, that's fine. Don't mind a card. It's a sun card, which will heal us and show us everything. It's a question mark pill. Uh, it's teleports. <laughs> okay. We should go back for the sun card and take it, and then we will pick up the syringe that we were given, which I believe is a range and damage upgrade. I think it's void range, which is speed and damage, or range and damage, or range and speed. It's a combination of items that I wish. Uh, stats, stats, very Uh, somehow I avoided taking damage there, but let's just not speak of it and maybe it'll not reverse itself. It's sort of quantum damage state at the moment. Bit of backtracking, doesn't hurt. Okay, speed and range, so no damage, that's fine. The sun card. If we use this, get a coin. Use a sun card. It also does damage to things on the room. But, who cares? <laughs> Whatever. Let's get the uh, full exploration bonus. Since we know exactly where we're going, we can sort of make a beeline to the boss and then deal with any problems. Ooh, careful. Afterwards. We know where the secret room is as well. So we don't even need to waste bombs looking for it. We can just kill the shit out of everything and keep going. We're going so fast. I can't imagine that there'll be any issues. I was kind of hoping that would be the super secret room, which doesn't show up as a result of the sun card, as you can see. Or, as you can see that you can't see. But. Which ones am I avoiding? <laughs> All of them. Just don't get hit. But I don't know how I didn't get hit, but I certainly held my breath to some extent. That might actually be better for us, because it may actually do something. What does it do? It just makes your bombs have creep. Which is an odd thing, but there you are. Super greed. So we're not going to get super greed in the shop, and we've got some more coins. I believe the point penalty you take for taking the item, which is the quarter. Uh, yes, actually, I do want this. I, I like cap. The point penalty for taking the item is less than the point bonus, picking up 25 cents. So that's pretty nice pickup. Quarter. And of course, this being the shop here, it's not going to have greed in it because we fought them both. I would very much like to have that jar of flies. But I think on this floor, all you get is a bunch of coins if we use Pandora's box now, which is a, a crying shame. Now, here's my current thinking. We're very fast because we've picked up Capricorn, which is all stats, including speed, apparently majoritatively speed. If I use enough HP here to get down to one red HP, we can go into the boss trap room and get some points for it. There's two blood bags here, which is outstanding. Right, we've got to be quick because I've spent a lot of time doing this, but I think we can manage it. Stop getting stuck on those. We've done it every single time. We don't have a teleport card, so we open these. Uh, both of them. Oh fuck, it's Tammy's head. We're gonna have to use the... <laughs> we can't get hold of this, um... 
This one again. You're fucking kidding me. We cannot keep hold of Pandora's box, so we'll use it. We'll have to keep Tammy's head. And now we've got Tammy's head brimstone, which we've seen before. Let's pop this open. Uh, please. I keep hitting the fucking thing out of the way. I'm panicking. Stop panicking. Right, we've got plenty of time. Now we're going to go and pick up both the blood bags, which I absolutely did not expect to get. Yeah, you walked into that again, didn't you? Even though you told yourself not to, didn't you? Both blood bags is 2 HP, and it will actually heal us completely. Blow this thing up. Okay. Cool. Don't want the left hand particularly. Right, book it. We've got to get there. I'm expecting Mom not to be a difficult fight. I'm also expecting Boss Rush not to be a difficult fight, but I am expecting, because it's the case, that we will not be doing Hush. Because we can't do Hush. Because Hush will not be available. What do we win here? Algis. Strength. It's like Algis. I don't really care about the Emperor's card. All it does is get us into the boss fight. Boom! Oh, it only does a short... Uh, I absolutely don't really care for that. But, we can do that, which ends his life immediately. That's a few extra points. Key piece 2. Don't know if these key pieces are actually valuable to us in any respect. We'll take the damage upgrade. Now, what we're going to have to be aware of at this point is... Well, apart from the fact that that's going to hurt. Tammy's Head Brimstone is a Zazel length Tammy's Head Brimstone. So, we can't rely on it... We can't stand across the room and fire it, is basically the, the gist here. And also I can't see what I'm doing because my face is covered in a death mask. Uh, pardon me? Jumping over my amazeable attacks is out of the question, completely. The boat, completely, 100% not allowed. Come over here. Okay, yourself. I'll come to you if you don't come to me. Get rid of death. Death's a difficult one here. Every single wave is a snap decision of which one's the hardest one to deal with. Unless we can get them both in the same shot. Uh, I kind of didn't think of that. Uh, probably you. Probably. Ah, it's difficult. Because these things charge you down pretty quickly, but also they don't take much to actually kill. Uh, you. Sure. Yep. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Three coins. Wow. What a, what a lucrative heart that was to lose. You, definitely, even though I don't know what this one is. It's almost certainly going to be... If the enemy that you can't see... If the other enemy you can't see... It's probably not as bad as the... In whatever that would be called. Gate. Gate. No. Brain. Because the moment's passed. Brain, the moment's passed. You can't talk about that enemy anymore. It's... You have to think of something else. Pete. Pete died really fast. The... The... Wretched... No. The... Ab, no. Fuck. <laughs> I can't remember the name of my Isaac bosses. I'm going to have to go back to Isaac school and swat up. Get my textbook out. I can't even say Dark Boss. The Adversary. Adversary. What a fucking generic name for a bitch of a boss. Here's Dark One. Not sure if Dark One was actually the right one to take in that particular situation. I suspect so. Because pestilence is so much easier to sort of keep track of. There's one more. There you are. Now I can't imagine us dying in this particular situation, but it would be awful to find yourself sans HP by just some fuck up that you weren't anticipating. Multi stage enemies are probably the hardest ones to deal with. Uh, with Tammy's head brimstone shot, because you don't get the shot back, you can't have another go. Uh, continuum does nothing for us. Uh, it might. Let's take it in case we get something awesome. Let's go down to the next floor. We're still looking for the way out, and I'm wondering whether taking the nail would have given us the devil precedent required to get the shovel? I don't know. You have to find a way out somehow, don't you? Diamonds. The lovers might be good. Eh, who cares? There's no point rushing now, because there's nothing to rush for. We've done boss rush and it took us, like, two minutes. <laughs> there's a pretty good boss rush. We can now just do the way out of here. Let's do that. 
Um, we can. So we'll use Algiers. We'll take Yera. If nothing else, Yera can at least give us a few more points from scumming up some... Really? He just sat there and shat bullets at me. I was thinking, oh, I'm perfectly safe here. I'm fine. Let's recharge. Nope. Yera could scum up some... Uh, some bonus consumables for us. I'm kind of looking for Tinted Rocks because I'd like to be able to... Sort of not lose... Devil Precedent? Devil Opportunity? Angel, I suppose it would be. This is an unknown pill. Pretty Trick flies. Is okay. We take Yera. What do we Yera then? Don't think we get too many points for picking up battery charges. Fool card. Well, that could have got us out of the thing we've already been in. The cursory. It's what I'm thinking of, but it, it seems more sensible to use vague metasyntactic variables to talk about what's happening, because obviously everybody is in my head. I don't need to really explain what I'm thinking. Yeah, that does seem like a reasonable guess at the secret room. And here's a tinted rock, which either gives us a rock, or what I was hoping for, is a spirit heart. Going so fast. I love it. This is definitely a palate cleanser of a run. I know I called it that before, but that's what it is. We can go into here if we want to, which we do. Wow, that took a little bit longer to explode than I anticipated it was going to, which scared me slightly. That could, that could help. Now, did we use it against Chub or is the next one worse? Uh, I probably could have stood to use Tammy's head here. This uh, fistula is the thing that killed me on that Eve run, which is not a good run at all. Yesterday's run was uh, Lilith. I, I just didn't care. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, yeah, we'll take Joker. If the, I'm sort of kind of hoping that we don't get a deal with the devil or angel at the end of this floor, even though I've put a lot of effort into doing so. Uh, I say a lot of effort. I looked for a spirit heart. <laughs> it's hardly the, uh, the major amount of effort that I would have led you to believe by the way I phrased it. I tried to not take red heart damage and succeeded in order to get a deal with Devil slash Angel. Uh, pardon me? Not a fan of that. I uh, wish we did. I've got Magic Mushroom, which I will just take. Uh, these don't help. The reason I hoped we wouldn't is that if we can use the Joker card on this floor, we can then take the, the Yarrow Rune away with us. Damage and range, and look how big we are. It's outrageous. Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll take this, and we'll take the Joker card. <sighs> Why? I should have looked for a second secret room to maybe get an Awaz. Why? The Joker card, if we don't get a deal with the devil at the end of this floor, we'll force it. And it will definitely be a deal with the devil, because we have spent HP on a deal with the devil now. That means... Probably not worth doing this. That means there's a small chance we can get our fingers on the shovel and then do the next floor. Wow, you, you didn't die. Deal with it. <laughs> I love the demon baby there, trying really hard. Doing its absolute best to sort out the uh, the enemy for me, but just feeling it. It's like how you always feel at the start of shitty runs like Eve or Maggie, just feeling completely impotent to do the damage required to <laughs> feel effective in this world. So we're just knocking each room out like, a, like it ain't no thing. This floor is going to be very difficult to find the super secret room on if there is one. Right, it'd be great to find also a telepills maybe. Telepills giving us the option to... This is, this is full health. <laughs> Would it be good to know before I did that, because I could have come into that room and done something with it. Uh, telepills could give us an error room, and the error room would force us into the next floor, because you can't do the same floor again. <laughs> that was fun, if not necessarily the best way of handling it. Please. Not charged up. It's okay. Uh, our intrepid ghoul manservants assisted us once again. We can't get out of here with the Joker card, so we just kind of pay the cover price, which is the value we got out of it, so that was a zero sum curse room, but never mind. This is bullshit. Where the fuck are you? Come on. We are so huge right now. 
Like fucking Derek Zoolander. I know that was hot, not huge, but let's go with it. I'm looking for the super secret room. Because the super secret room, however I pronounce it and in whatever accent I choose to use, thank you for not uh, judging me on it, is our key to success. I probably should have recharged. I was going to recharge Tammy's head, which is why I use it in that situation. Then I just carried on to the next floor anyway, the next room anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's just me doing my thing. We're so fast that I'm kind of in danger of accidentally running full tilt into an enemy that I am quite aware of, but have no intention of dodging. Apparently, I'm not picking up that either. Uh, probably here. Seems like a good bet. Uh, okay, not there. A super secret room never has another room adjacent to it. So it's only ever at the terminals, really. Not there, because there's a rock in the way. So I'm guessing it must be... up here. Or up there. Yeah. Good. Bullshit. Absolutely fucking useless. Well, we still have our Joker card. To be fair, there wasn't anything that we could have yared to get the benefit out of the arrow room, so I'm not feeling too salty. Salty? Uh, that was, yeah, just one shot, Mom's heart, no worries. Shovel, not shovel. Uh, honestly, I suspect there is no point in taking this, so we'll just end the run. Thank you for watching. We did 29,000, which is 296. That's the top 500, and that's always what I'm aiming for. Yesterday I was like 2,000 because I died really early. Top 500 it's a good score. Damage penalty is not too bad, but then we only went halfway through the game. Fine stage bonus. Blah, blah, blah. Did well. Happy with that. 297th. I expect we won't end at 297th, but then we'll get the benefit of all the cheaters being uh, removed by greed, but as well. Well, that was a good run. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends, everything like that. You know how it goes. Comment. Leave a comment. I haven't had a comment for ages. Uh, on, on YouTube, not Facebook. But yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.